the closet and I found these shoes I cannot believe I used to wear these to work it's like four inch heel like I used to wear shoes like this to work that's crazy I got a bunch of shoes like that though I remember these the boots right here these used to be my favorite they guest boots but the heel on them so thin and so tall what else look at these <laughs> I used to wear these to church look at that heel on this shoe what else Oh, I remember wearing these to work a couple times. That's not that bad though. These were actually comfortable. What else I got? I would never, ever be caught dead in these shoes now. Like, I mean, not, I'm not gonna say ever, but I just would not enjoy wearing them. Now, these are super cute. A lot of these shoes I got from like Aldo or um, Macy's. These right here are one of my favorites i wore these to a wedding one time and i got so many compliments on them and i don't think these shoes are probably like 25 dollars from like one of those um it was probably like dsw <clears throat> but i love these shoes i just can't believe i used to wear those let me see you guys like actually walk in a pair of these shoes i'm gonna do these the ones i used to wear the most let's see That's crazy. <laughs> Hold on. Hey. <laughs> I remember the um the very last time that I wore some heels. Matter of fact, where are boots at? I had some knee high boots. They were so cute. They had a heel like this. And oh my gosh. I could have sworn like we, was, we, we had to walk, we went to a comedy show, that's what it was. Babe had bought me some surprise tickets to a comedy show and we had to park, it was at one of those, um, it was like a convention center. So you had to park pretty far and you had to walk to the actual building. So I'm walking, walking, walking and I feel fine going until like right before we get to the door, like my ankles start to feel a little weak. So I was glad to finally sit down. So then when it's time to leave, we walking out and my ankles, oh my gosh, it felt like my ankles was about to give out. And the people behind me, like I kept slowing down, like, babe, hold on, hold on. <laughs> and the people behind me, I could hear them like laughing because from behind, like my ankles must have been like so wobbly. 
and but to me it just felt weak like it didn't feel wobbly it just felt like my ankles about to give out like they were so tired but um so yeah i'm walking 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 here people laughing we're well, not really laughing like a little chuckle like yo they probably sound like yo her ankles about to give out any minute <laughs> So I really I had to um I had to stop and take my shoes. Did I take them off? No, I, I think I was like too embarrassed to take my shoes off. But I just kept walking. Just kept walking. My ankles didn't give out, but it sure did feel like it. And I definitely um those shoes are going to the goodwill. I don't even want I don't mm -mm, I don't want them anymore. But I'm making some progress up here. I done cleaned out that top shelf up there for the most part. Um down here is really just that basket, that hamper of clothes that I need to go through. But I swear y'all the bad part about moving after being somewhere for a few years is decluttering all the stuff that you have accumulated over the past years I swear it seems like we have so much stuff stuff that we I'm finding stuff that I haven't seen in years like what the heck we got a whole pillow in here that ain't even been open look at this <laughs> What else oh my gosh this sweater my husband wore oh my gosh from like he's worn this probably like when we first met and that was some 13 how, how, how long we been together i remember he wore that <laughs> um what else we got in here oh my gosh look at this thing i keep trying to hide it from babe so i bought this as a joke and he took it serious so it's this thing that you put around your neck and you put your phone on it so you don't have to hold it. And he had literally, literally, literally been wearing it. So you, <laughs> it goes like this. And you put your phone in here so you don't have to hold it. You can still use your hands. I bought it as a joke and he was wearing it for weeks until I hid it. I had to hide it so that he would stop walking around here <laughs> with his phone glued to his face. Oh my gosh. But I'm about to go through all this stuff throw some clothes in the wash what the heck is this this better not be my good wig <laughs> it sure is <laughs> in the back of the closet Ooh, i might wear this soon <laughs> gotta wash it what is this there's another wig in here what's this oh my lord I'm like a dead cat <laughs> got some braiding hair what's that some work pants yeah <sighs> yeah, but it's been raining all day. I was gonna go out today, but I decided not to. It just looks so bad out there. So cloudy, so gloomy, so rainy. And I don't even know if it's cold. It's probably still hot. But I just didn't feel like going out today. I wanted to get that paint roller. Didn't get it. So, but I tried to make the most of staying in the house. And looks like I made things worse, actually. Like, I had just cleaned the room. It was clean. I, was pr I promise y'all it was clean. Now look at it. I mean, but at least I can say that, you know, things are actually going in boxes, which will just be taped up and taken out. But, jeez, the process. It's a process. What's in here? I swear. There's probably nothing in this duffel bag. But stuff we don't need, obviously, because I don't even know what's in here. Some, oh, Halloween costumes and Christmas clothes. Oh, that's a cute little bag. Ooh, candy. A bunch of candy. This must be why I hid the Halloween candy. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let me bag up what we're going to throw away. Yo, I remember um, my aunt, she had an all-white party. This was some years ago. This was like when Babe and I first met. How long ago was that? That was in 2011. So my aunt had an all white party. Let me see what size these pants are. <laughs> size 40. But babe, I bet you he couldn't get in these pants. That's why he was skinny. <laughs> but these, we had, let me show y'all the pictures. Matter of fact, if I can find it. We have a picture of us at this all white party. Where is it? Hold on. <laughs> it was here. Babe, you packed up that picture from when we was at the all white party. Oh, I wanted to show up. I found your white jeans. <laughs> yeah, I think your white polo shirt got a stain on it. Here you go, right here. He got the whole outfit. I don't know where my outfit at. Yeah, he got the whole outfit. 
And it looked like it had been through some things. It got stains on it and everything. I swear, this man, he like to keep everything. I be like, babe, you haven't worn this in a long time. I don't think it fit no more. You want to, you know, get rid of it, donate. No, I want to keep it. I'm like, why? He'll keep a hole. He'll keep a shirt with a hole in it. Just because. <laughs> I'm like, throwing stuff away. I'm like, sir, come on, man. Let's get rid of some stuff. I'm like, no, I'm going to keep it. If you throw something of mine away, I'm going to throw something of yours away. So then we end up keeping everything. <sighs> but yeah. Let me go wash these clothes. <laughs> I talk myself out of it. I'm going to talk so much I ain't going to want to do it no more. But, Lord. Lord, when is it going to be over? <laughs> Can't wait to just sit down and relax. Just relax. <sighs> the new house. <laughs> Thank you.